guys, this is my very first video, and I'm super excited to be doing this. Um, I'm going to show you how to make a lip balm without heat, and I do this so many times. I It's pretty countless. Um, and they work really well, too. They're just fun to make, and I came up with this because a lot of girls, like or little kids, kids like to um, make these lip balms, but the, they can't use the heat by themselves, so it, this is a new heat method that I am doing right now, and let's get started. Alright, so what you're going to need for this project is coconut oil, um, these are like really interchangeable, beeswax and coconut oil. I'm using Marais beeswax because this is like supposed to be for your hair, but it's 100%, so it's not like it doesn't have any conditioner in it. But um, you can use Vaseline, um, <clears throat> you can use like regular, yeah, so these three, like, any one of these three, you don't have to use both of these together. You can just use, like, Vaseline, coconut oil, or beeswax. So you have three choices there. Three choices there. And, um, yeah, I'm sure you have, a uh, coconut oil or Vaseline for sure at your house. Um, and you're going to need something to put it in. I have this little bottle cap. This is the story of my life right here. I put everything, all of my lip balms that I make inside of bottle caps. This is a lip balm that I made, and guess what? It's in a bottle cap, so. They work really well. I'll show you this method in a different video, but. Um, and then you're just gonna need, like, a spoon or something. Like, I use little ones because, um, these amounts don't matter. It, like, ignore these little words on them. Smidgen, pinch, dash. I didn't know those were actual measurements. Well, you can learn from my videos. <laughs> um, but I'm just using these, like, mix-ups since they're small. I'm using this really teensy tiny one. And um, I'm using this big one to scoop out everything. And then, well, you see I'm using beeswax. You can use vas Vaseline, coconut oil, whatever you want once again. Um, you can even use unflavored, un like unscented candle wax. And um, add like vanilla extract or like whatever scents you want to it. So, another idea. <clears throat> so, let's get started. So first, I'm going to get some coconut oil. Mine is kind of like a little bit oil, well, oily. It's coconut oil, first of all. I need to stop doing that. Um, but mine's a little bit just like not, it's a little bit liquidy since it's warm. Um, don't worry if that happens to your coconut oil. It's just because it's hot. Um, storing it in the fridge will prevent this from happening. So I'm just getting some and then putting it into my container. And you'll clean this up later, so this doesn't really matter right now. And just continue doing that until you get the amount that you want. So I have some in my container. Um, I'm only filling mine like halfway because I'm adding beeswax into it to make it a little bit more solid. But um, like measurements don't really matter because we're all probably doing different recipes. And um, so yeah, now I'm gonna get my beeswax and do the same exact thing except except this will be more solid and easier to get in. So I'm gonna do that. So I put my beeswax in and it's smelling this, um, it's starting to smell really nice. And the reason I told you that I'm using Marais is because it smells just like petroleum jelly. I don't know why, but it's 100% beeswax, so it's good. Um, and I just cleaned up the edges with the tissue. And now you're just gonna mix um, whatever ingredients you have together. Oh, and note that you can add, um, you can add color, like food coloring, or you can melt crayons, but we're not, I'm not gonna melt anything. Um, well, yeah, food coloring would be a very good idea to have and put that in there to give it some color, but I just want a lip balm, and so, yeah, if you want to add color, you can do that. So, my beeswax and coconut oil are all mixed together, and this is a really, really great recipe. Um, it smells wonderful. Just need to clean up the edges a bit. Um, it's really, really moisturizing. I find that putting this on your lips before bed... I've made this before, so I know. Um, putting this on your lips, like, before bed, it makes them really soft in the morning, and, yeah. So, that's it for my little recipe. You can customize it however you want. You can decorate the container. I don't know, if you could find a cap that fits, um, you can give it a cap. What are those little things that are floating by? <laughs> um, or you can add color, like I said. And you don't just have to use coconut oil or beeswax. You can use Vaseline. There's endless options. So, um, this is great to have with you. If you could find a cap for it or just put it into a uh, container, 
and it's great, and it's homemade. I'm going to stop talking now. All right, bye. Hope you enjoyed. I hope you make this, because this is really good. And bye.